Hey guys, what's going on? Rounded Tic Tac here, and we're bringing you the requested double boiler, the brand new shotgun that just dropped yesterday. I brought you Bomb Kyle first, I was going to bring you this second, so let's break it down. Just a couple of things. Number one, I want to touch on that the Jack's Revenge has kind of broken the one shot gun or two shot gun meta. There's just nothing that comes even close to how hard that gun hits. And I've gotten a lot of requests to do a updated top five pistol video just to know, just so you know, that's number one. There's nothing in the game that is as good as the Jack's Revenge. It has even replaced the old Betsy. Even with its smaller range, it still sometimes out damages the old Betsy. It's kind of nuts. So with that being said, the double boiler falls into a similar category. Being a two shot, hard hitting, high impact weapon, it just falls short. Even using a shotgun specified build you end up doing more damage with the jack's revenge which makes absolutely no sense if you take a build and you put all the shotgun perks in the game on that build and then you use the jack's revenge this will hit the jack's revenge will still hit harder it's kind of nuts but let's get into this let's show you the double boiler whether you should perk it or pass it So this is the double boiler. This is unperked. I believe I changed this roll, but that's really it. Let's talk about what this gun brings to the table and how it kind of screws you on doing a certain kind of build. Well, the most popular build. Like I said earlier, it has super high impact at almost 10k with only this in the blue, only blue rolls on it. Uh, critical hit chance with nothing is 15. It has a magazine size of 2. It has a range of 2048, which is going to be important in a little bit, and a reload time of 2.5 seconds. So how I would end up rolling this gun would be be a little different than what you see on screen let's talk about this sixth perk real quick it finally works on hit bullet splinters into shrapnel dealing 40 percent damage in a cone that's actually very good for a weapon like this since it has such a tight spread that you kind of need a little more aoe damage i keep comparing it to a shotgun version of the old betsy i used to say that about the squire but the squire's radius and kind of iffy hit detection makes it a little worse dollars to donuts i recommend this gun i really really like it just like i said in the intro it doesn't replace the jack's revenge and they do very very similar things in fact they basically shoot the same amount of damage does that make sense do they have the same dps the jack's revenge hits harder but only has one bullet this has two but hits for about half doing similar damage but if we take a look at the rolls on how you should, or at least my suggestion to roll this weapon, it would look something like this. I had two of them, but uh, I did break one of them. Like I said, I don't have it perked up yet. So on this one, we have crit damage, crit rating, energy, impact, and crit damage. Now, the funny thing about this weapon is it kind of messes you up when you're trying to roll it a crit chance, crit damage build. The gun cannot roll a crit chance roll and two crit damage rolls. It just cannot do it, which is kind of iffy for a hard hitting single fire gun like this. It's kind of messed up if you're being, if I'm being completely honest. Now there are, I'm going to give you two suggestions on exactly how I would roll this gun and it depends on your play style. The first one is going to be if you plan on playing shotgun heroes, you want this weapon for a shotgun loadout. I would take this first roll and make it crit damage. This one I would replace this reload speed and make it crit rating. This one I would always keep it energy. This one is going to be base damage this one right here and then this last one is going to be crit damage so that will leave you with two crit damages one crit chance and one base damage it's gonna hit hard if you roll it this way it is absolutely going to hit hard but you're also looking at like a 3.2 second reload speed which is kind of a lot even if you use in a pinch chromium ramirez's perk you're not gonna get 
a decent reload speed. So if you plan on using it for any other character, like if you just want it as an all-purpose tool, if you like being in the fray, in the video I posted earlier, I was using it on Bomb Kyle because it's for close range. You might want to think about rolling it like this. Leave this as base damage, keep this reload speed here, take this one as base damage, and this one as base damage. So you would have a triple base damage gun, and you don't have to worry about crits or anything like that. That will work just as well as a crit rating, crit damage build, plus you have the utility of the reload perk on top of it. One thing that I wanna recommend to you guys is, even though this weapon has 10,000 impact, and for a weapon, that's a lot, that's not a launcher or a grenade launcher or anything like that, that is a lot of impact, don't spec into it. I did it at first, and we had a 60% impact roll on the weapon and it couldn't even knock down a smasher and that's what you're basically using this for when those oh crap moments happen and you need to get something away from your base this just doesn't do the job it doesn't fulfill that role as a high impact weapon so i would definitely stay away from that i did try it i'm not going to recommend it to you guys just go with the two builds i just showed you So the gun can hit for over a million damage, that's been confirmed multiple times, at least playing a character that specs into shotgun damage. However, this is also a weapon that just feels good on any character I put it on. It has a long enough range to make it useful for soldiers or constructors. It has a short enough range and has enough impact and does enough damage that it feels good on close range ninjas in the third slot or a hardware wielding constructor. Any or all of the above, this gun, more than any other I've used in the game, at least in recent memory, feels great. The weapon just feels good. Remember, it does have a very, very, very tight reticle for a shotgun. I'm gonna go out on a limb here and say it's the tightest bullet spread that we have for a shotgun. Just plain and simple, it does what it's supposed to do. Now, the best weapon I can compare it to would be the Long Arm Enforcer. Now, the thing about it is, is the Long Arm Enforcer has the largest range for any shotgun in the entire game. There is not a shotgun that can shoot farther more effectively than the long arm enforcer but that still doesn't mean that this gun isn't close or at least a close second I really really enjoy this weapon like I said any class that you can play this weapon does well on and I think for that reason alone you might want to go with that triple damage roll, so you're not forced to play exactly and only one kind of character. I tried it on many, many different characters, and even if you're using a ninja and you're hitting a couple of characters and there's a blaster a little bit out of your range and you have no en energy or your dragon slash is on cooldown, whip this bad boy out and most likely it'll one shot him or at least two shot him and it's very fun to do. It sounds great, it has good impact to it, a good oomph, and I just really enjoy using the weapon. This, this isn't going to be a full breakdown, maybe we'll talk for like a minute or two, but let's just talk about what perks you can bring to make this weapon the best it can be. Number one, Buckshot Raptor, he's the best shotgun hero technically in the game, but like I said, feel free to use this on any close quarter combat character you can think of. It, I had success on a lot of them, and I had a lot of fun with the weapon too, and I believe that's important. We're going to bring Keep Out just because we're playing a soldier, but that just is what it is. If you are not playing this character, put this in your build uh, in place of something down here. Since he's close quarters, we're going to go with Survivalist, Locked and Reloaded, which after reloading increases weapon damage for 15 seconds. It only has two bullets, so you're going to be reloading all the time. Shell Shock is just base damage. You, If you want to roll it triple damage, you might want to use her instead of him. In a pinch is, like I keep saying, probably the best perk in the game. No one believes me, but I promise you, it is increases your reload speed as well as gives you some survivability and you're gonna be close in the fray. It's definitely worth picking up. Here I had Escape Artist. This ability gives a soldier a lot more momentum, increase, increasing movement speed by 40% for eight seconds. You can really tell. Now there are only a couple of perks, like I said, that can actually affect this shotgun and they're all here. So. 
it's up to you guys on how you want to play it. You can use this shotgun and absolutely have zero shotgun perks here. Like none. Like zip. Nada. Nothing. Like this. This is what I was using with base Kyle and, or I'm sorry, bomb Kyle. Software actuated attacks in a pinch because I had the shotgun. Rushed, 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 and maximum overload. And it's still felt great, worked great, I was really enjoying myself. So those are just a couple of tips and tricks, what weapon it kind of compares to. Remember, don't roll impact on it, but when it comes down to it, I really like this weapon. However, the Jack's Revenge is just better. So before we wrap this up, I just want to say thank you once again for 15,000 subscribers. We're going to be doing a big giveaway. I don't think it's going to be this Saturday, but it might be. If not, it's definitely going to be next Saturday. I'm pretty sure. I'll keep you updated on my videos that I upload. Now, also, the shotgun itself is good. Don't get me wrong. It's very similar to the Long Arm Enforcer, even the Deconstructor, and even the Bear. But it does have its own little niche with a much higher impact and only a two-shot magazine. The issue is that even when you run a shotgun character loadout, you still end up doing more damage with the Jack's Revenge. When I made that video, I knew how broken that pistol was going to be. So should you perk it or pass it, you should definitely buy it and perk it. It's a fun little weapon with a very cool little mechanic to it. Two shots, they hit for over a million, it does a lot of damage. I, I suggest this one, although it's very similar to many other guns. Thank you guys so much for watching this one. If you want to check us out live at twitch.tv slash roundedtictac, feel free to stop by. We'd love to have you, especially on Saturdays. Saturdays are crazy. I'll see you guys on the next video. Tic Tac out.